Hey guys, I'm Leo Reinke, the Guitar Maniac. In a couple of Line 6 Y7 negative episodes, uh, I mentioned the super secret guitar free amplifier. And now it's time to reveal the identity of SS. And SS stays not only for the super secret, but also for the model name. It's SS11A from the Russian brand EMT. And this is a really awesome uh, and magical pre-amplifier that has uh, a couple of uh, 12AX7 tubes in it. And it has three channel, clean, crunch and lead. So let's take a closer look at it. As far as I know, this device was originally designed uh, for needs of the Russian musicians. You see, here in Germany, no matter if you are a small band uh, playing occasional gigs in uh, small clubs, or if you are professional musicians playing on a big stage, you have to carry your guitar amplifier with you. In Russia, however, nobody uh, brings their own amplifiers to uh, small gigs in uh, small clubs. The local musicians uh, simply bring their instruments and uh, plug them in uh, guitar amplifiers that are already there in clubs. The problem is, the club owners uh, don't want to spend a lot of money for decent guitar amplifiers. And uh, what they get are usually solid-state uh, amplifiers that don't really sound good. And if you want to get some decent sound using those uh, guitar amplifiers, that's uh, what you use for it. You simply grab this guitar preamp, uh, plug it uh, to the return of the effects loop of the um, solid state amplifier, and the speaker that's already in those amp is usually a 12 inch guitar speaker that uh, has some decent sound. And you get some sort of hybrid uh, amp using tube preamp, solid state power amp, and uh, decent guitar speaker, and you get decent sound. <laughs> As for me, I've got a couple of years of frustration using Line 6 Pod HT500 and trying to get some decent sound with it. The only thing that I learned from all this experience is that this speaker simulator torpedo cap from two nodes has some awesome uh, impulse responses. But even uh, this device couldn't help uh, Line 6 uh, to get some authentic uh, tube sound. But I didn't want to go back to the tube amplifiers, because I didn't want to carry these uh, heavy things around. Uh, and I wanted to have some uh, small devices uh, that I can uh, get to a gig with public transportation. And that's what I've got uh, this uh, AMT SS 11 a And when I combined those two devices, well, I've got some decent uh, authentic tube sound with it. Here are a couple of samples of uh, those two devices combined together on its own and in a mix.
I want to mention that in all of these examples, all the bass guitar tracks were recorded with these two devices as well. I used the bass cabinet impulse uh, in the torpedo cap, and uh, the preamp was set in a clean mode, and I rolled uh, a little bass and mids uh, because it can get uh, too bassy with bass guitar. And I rolled uh, down a little bit of gain because uh, it might get too compressed. And as you can see, you can get awesome bass guitar sound using uh, uh, the uh, guitar preamplifier in a clean mode. And these two devices have become my number one tool for both uh, live and recording situations and I've been using this for over three years. And so, what can I say about this device after three years of using it? Well, sometimes it might get quite challenging, especially if you are looking for some certain sound or you are into a heavier type of music. Well, this, uh, this device was kind of designed as a vintage style pre-amplifier. And if you go with the gain all the way up, uh, especially in overdriven sound, you get a kind of muddy sound, but not the kind of uh, heavy gain sound. So if you are into heavier type of music, you should probably check SS11B that was designed uh, as a modern style preamplifier. Back in those days when I purchased it, I was kind of uh, tired from all my uh, the heavy metal bands I was in. So I wanted to play some uh, softer music and uh, get some softer sound. So that's why I decided for this SS11A. But on the other hand, you can uh, try it with some different impulse responses and create some uh, interesting results. This device is definitely worth of checking out. Are there any downsides on this device? Well, a couple of minor things. For example, here's the switch that turns on the speaker simulation. And it's not uh, made very good. <laughs> Well, this still beats the amp emulation of the Line 6 Spot HD 500, but I wouldn't use it in the first place. But ever since uh, this is uh, just an add-on, I wouldn't care this much about it. The only thing that I have uh, with this device is that I can't attach it to the pedal board. Usually I would use uh, this velcro tape and uh, put a device to the pedal board, but I can't do this with this preamp. First of all, because it has legs, so uh, this velcro tape wouldn't use uh, this much. And second, there are tubes in it uh, that get uh, hot uh, while operating. And I wouldn't cover these holes, because uh, you need to cool uh, the tubes with the air somehow. There is another thing that bugs me just a little bit. You see, this device came from the factory with the warm stones in it. And what are the warm stones? This is another product of the AMT. And basically this is solid state replacement for the real tubes. And this is pretty neat idea. It emulates uh, the signal flow of the original tube, but with endless resources. Meaning that you don't have to change the tubes once in a while. However, I switched uh, them with the real tubes uh, for my personal reasons. If you want to have another episode on warm stones, well, let me put it this way, if this video hits 20,000 views, I make another episode. Anyway, on the back of the AMT device says that this device requires 12 volt DC with 1.25 amperes. And this is what the original power supply provides. If you use, look in the user's manual, it says there that uh, this device requires about 500 milliamperes. And so, if I put uh, the real tubes in it and try to use the original power supply, this is what I get. I guess that the original tubes require more than 1.25 amperes uh, to warm up. That's what you see when you switch uh, this device on. 
However, if you use uh, a different power supply that uh, provides 2 amperes, you don't see uh, such kind of thing. It works uh, just right away. And maybe this is the only thing that I would like to say to the AMT engineers. Maybe you should go with something uh, more powerful than uh, this uh, 1.25 milliamperes uh, power supply. Otherwise, the AMT company has some interesting stuff to offer and I guess in further episodes uh, you'll see more of the AMT stuff. And so, that's all for today. Have a nice day and keep on rocking!